Hi guys, it is the end of my day of filming here at Faulkner Park and I am making this a short film slash vlog. So it's a, a vlot. No. Vlot? Vlort? Vlort? A vlog and a short is a vlort. So <laughs> it's like a squirt, but it's a vlort. So um, please enjoy watching this. It's such a pretty day here in November. It's actually November and it's actually a Monday. So I'm like, I'm just gonna run out here and make a film in one day with one person, me, filming everything. <laughs> and it's quite a task, you know. That's why instead of making a short film, I made it a vlort. <laughs> is there another way? Shog? It's either Shog or Vlort, so you guys decide. <laughs> but it's my vlog, short film, and uh, I hope you guys like my one day fun adventure. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am at Faulkner Park in Southern Tyler, Texas, and I'm out here hiking alone because my friend Nicole decided to skip out on this beautiful Saturday to go to the Texas Bigfoot Convention. I'm like, what? No. So I'm gonna be out here actually hiking, and you know, I feel like I'm pretty safe because you know, Bigfoot's gonna be at the convention, so I have nothing to worry about out here. Yeah, I figured all of the Bigfoots are in um, Jefferson, Texas, which is about an hour and a half away. So. I'm out here just enjoying the prettiness of late fall. A beautiful trail right in front of me. So let's explore Faulkner Park. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> One quick mention about um, Faulkner Park is that there has been sightings of Bigfoot here. I'm like, how? W why would you want to go to the convention instead of coming here and looking for them yourself? She didn't agree with that. So here we are. There's nobody else out here either. Nobody? Nobody. Anyway, she told me to keep an eye out for Bigfoot. I mean, I can see how Bigfoot would want to live out here. If I was Bigfoot, I'd live in those woods. Have you noticed that since HD cameras are out that there's been not very many Bigfoot sightings? Because there's good cameras now, so. Sorry. The fall leaves here are so amazing. There's some that are super duper red, some that are super duper yellow, and some that are super duper brown. But. <laughs> So I'm going to be looking at some marvelously colored leaves. When you come to a fork in the road, you go down the middle part? Because I already came from the fork in the road, I guess. And a few leaf collections later, I found a whole array of red to orangish leaves. Yes, they're not as pretty as like New England leaves, but hey, for Tyler, Texas, these are pretty colorful. It's a very pretty day here and I just saw a mountain biker go by and it was really cool. It This is strange. I think all this Bigfoot talk is just getting to me because that must be just some coincidence. Natural phenomenon. It's not, it's not a Bigfoot, that's somebody, a, a, squ a squirrel. That's, that's probably a squirrel. Raccoon? Coyote? 
yeah, yeah, it's a coyote. That's, that's what it is. Maybe I'm extra sensitive to the whole Bigfoot thing today, but that looks like a Bigfoot foot. I think I'm just going to go ahead and exit. You won't believe this. In this tree, there's Bigfoot fur. Why is there fur that far up in the tree? I can barely touch it. Okay, there must be a reasonable explanation to this. Reasonable, right? There's no Bigfoot. So it's, it's coyote fur. Yeah, it's just coyote fur. Wait, coyotes aren't that tall. But you know what they say in the woods. It's all fun and games until somebody hears a twig snap. There he is. Did you guys see that? That was big. Okay, <laughs> I think Bigfoot's real now um, because I believe I saw him. I'm just gonna make my way out of here. Wait, Nicole said there's three things if there's a potential Bigfoot attack. The first thing was to set off a flare, which I don't have. The second one was don't look good in the eyes. I didn't plan who. And the third one is you can't run. I will walk really, really, really fast. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling because just in case there's Bigfoot in the background, the news station will be able to use this footage. So will all the scientific research and Nicole and maybe on YouTube. Set his trap because I totally tripped and the ground is, is is flat. I don't see him anymore. Luckily, don't come to Faulkner Park in Hyde Park. The legends of Big Foot are real. Wrapping this up because uh, I see my car. Hopefully, he doesn't know how to drive. Um, definitely keep your eyes peeled for Bigfoot here. I got to my car, I'm leaving Faulkner Park, and I finally have realized why there is a police station right here. In case of a Bigfoot emergency. 